Hello beauties and welcome spring. In collaboration with my beautiful friend Anais Ponce, I have created this beautiful spring makeup tutorial using the color orange as my inspiration. To see her spring inspired look, I will link her channel down below. Starting with the eyes, I am using a primer as my base to keep the eyeshadow from creasing and so that it will last longer throughout the day. Picking up a medium colored powder, I will be using this as my transition color in the creases of my eyes. Before going in with the orange shadow, I am taking this powder here. Not only will it complement the orange, but it will also create dimension once the colors are all layered. So now I'm going to pick up this beautiful orange shadow from my palette and I'm going to take this color and apply it right in the crease. Taking a blending brush, I'm going to use windshield wiper motions and also go back and forth to ensure everything is well blended. By taking a clean blending brush, I go back into my crease to make sure that I leave no harsh edges. This next color I am picking up is going all over my lid. I am using a small shader brush to pat the color on. With no additional product on my brush, I'm going to blend. Always remember that blending is key. So I did apply my eyeliner and mascara on camera but somehow the footage got lost, so I'm really sorry about that. So next, I'm going to do some color correcting by taking this orange pigment. This will cancel out any blue undertones under my eyes. I start off by applying the product with a small brush, and then I use my ring finger to blend. Since the under eye area tends to be a little dry, this also has coconut oil which will provide moisture and ensure that it doesn't look cakey. Moving on to the face, I'm using a clear primer. This will give me a smoother canvas when applying any makeup on my face. And as always, I'm taking my favorite foundation of all time and just dotting it all over my face and then I'm going to take a beauty blender to blend it all out. Now I'm going to take some concealer to cover up the dark circles under my eyes. I'm also going to take that same concealer on my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, my chin and forehead to highlight those areas. Here I'm just going to take a little bit of my charged water and I'm going to spritz it onto my beauty blender. Then I'm going to go back into those areas that we just highlighted and I'm going to blend them all out.
set all the concealer into place, I'm going to take some loose setting powder with a small tapered brush and apply it right under the eyes and also all of the other areas that I highlighted. To bronze my face, I'm going to take back the medium powder that I used in the beginning on the creases of my eyes and I'm just going to dust this all on the areas where I would typically bronze my face. I'm also going to take this MAC bronzer and I'm going to sculpt out my cheekbones and around the edges of my face. To clean up the contour, I'm going to take a cosmetic wedge and I'm going to dip it back into the loose setting powder to give the contour a sharp look. And to complement the spring look, I'm going to take this soft orange blush and apply it right on the apples of my cheeks. Taking back a small taper brush, I'm just going to dust all of that loose powder under my eyes. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take back that MAC bronzer once again and I'm going to put it right underneath my lash line. Then I'm going to go back into my Morphe palette and I'm going to pick up this color here. This one is going to go right underneath my waterline followed by mascara on my bottom lashes. And for highlight, I'm taking this one also by MAC. This one's going to go in the inner corners of my eyes to brighten up the eyes, as well as on top of my cheekbones. And to apply the highlight, I'm taking a dome blending brush. I'm also going to take some of that highlight and apply it right on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on the bridge of my nose. To save some time, I did my brows off camera so we can move on to the lips. And I'm going to take this lip liner by NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to use this to line my lips. To finish off the lips, I'm taking a nude lipstick and I'm applying it all over the lips. To finish off the look, I'm just going to spritz some of the hydrating mist to set the makeup in place and this completes the look. So that is it guys. I hope you guys really like this spring inspired makeup look. Also don't forget to check out my friend Anais spring makeup tutorial. That will be in the bottom bar linked below. And if you guys want to see more videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Adios!